Hey everybody, HHO for all. Just want to show you guys my initial testing on this washer dry cell. Um, it, uh, it has decent output, but it's nowhere near as good as I thought it was going to be. Um, I'm getting about a half a liter per minute off of this right now. And um, you know, looking at this, uh, let's see if I can make this a little bit easier to see. There's plenty of bubbles coming through this line, and um, you know, getting a lot of production up here, tons of bubbles, and uh, amperage, we're looking at uh, under three amps. We're looking at about two and a half amps right now. So it's it's doing pretty good, but as soon as uh, I hooked it up after about five to ten minutes, I realized that I had a leak. And that's why my production isn't as good as I thought it would be. Um, if I lift this up here, um, don't know if you can see that or not, but uh, got a little tiny leak. It's it's a little moist in there. Um, let's see if I can get a good view of this. Um, there's uh, a lot of bubbles that are coming up in between the gasket and the cutting board because I didn't pre-treat the cutting board with uh, rubberized sealant. So what I think I'm going to do is just take this apart and then I'm going to put a good even coat of Plasti Dip on it and then uh, reassemble the cell. The reason it's important to do that is these cutting boards have a porous, um, very rough texture to them and it makes it really hard to get a decent seal. So if you add a rubberizing agent like Plasti Dip, then it will give you a flat surface and you'll be able to get yourself a, a decent seal between the gasket and the uh, cutting board. So that's what I've got planned. And then plus I'm going to add a little more electrolyte to the mixture because I'm thinking, you know, right now I've, I've measured it, I'm getting a little over a half a liter per minute and that's with a leak. So I think after I address the leak, fix that and add a little bit more electrolyte um, I may be able to push one liter per minute out of this, which is not bad for a small fuel cell. And if I can get one liter per minute, I'd say this is a success. So anyway, um, I'll be back for part two. HHO for all, and I'm out of here.